Hi guys, my name is Charlie Nilzo and my name is Marco Dancute. Let's talk about the Shaker franchise. So the Shaker is a restaurant franchisee. This franchisee is involved in the food industry since they're making uh, lunch and dinner uh, dishes. They're also involved in the bar industry since they're making a lot of cocktails and they're having uh, a bar at the place. And also they are involved in the entertainment industry because after 10 p.m. there's a DJ coming up at this place making music for people who want to dance on the dance floor or just want to have some music in the background while chatting with other people. So, when talking about the Shaker franchise, we need to talk about the element of them. So, there's five of them that are situated in Quebec or near Quebec City, with the first one that is uh, situated at La Pyramide, that has been founded in 2015. And after that, the six other ones are situated at saint hyacinthe uh, Saint-Georges, Trois-Rivières, Rimouski, and share. All right, so uh, here comes the financial structure of the, uh, the shaker. First of all, just I just wanted to explain that I did two uh, two can of uh, uh, you know financial structures. There's one that is the converting the standard premises of. Uh, 4,500 feet square, and uh, with that you will have um, 160 uh, seats plus 60 seats ratio. Uh, so this is the first one. The second one is talking about for construction standard premises, uh, which is the same uh, feet squared as uh, the converting standard, which is uh, 4,500 feet squared, and there's a little bit the same amount as seats there which is uh, 160 seats and 60 seats per ratio. Well, uh, let's talk about uh, the financial structure on the first one here. Uh, we have the initial investment. What is the initial investment? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's uh, an action of all these, uh, you know, this, uh, the things that you need to, to have in your franchise. Um, there's the franchise fees, which uh, is the same as a lot of franchise. When you want to acquire a franchise, you have to to pay an amount to them to, uh, you know, to, to one, there's two reasons for that. One's to prove your service, and second, uh, you know, it's a kind of, uh, you know, benefits for the franchise or they need to sell that to make, uh, to make money. So um, there's some fees uh, around the company, the lawyer, etc. Uh, there's a, there the free SBL. What is the SBL fees? It's very simple. Securities, borrowing, and lending. Uh, it's very important because uh, when you're going to um, to ask for a loan, the bank or whatever, um, they will ask us, they, they will ask you, sorry, to provide um, an initial investment. It's very important. These two, uh, this is proving that you're serious enough to uh, into your project. Uh, for instance, uh, you're trying to buy a house and. Um, you want a loan from the bank and they will ask you please provide an initial investment so, uh, so sometimes the initial investment will um, will be used uh, in, uh, in uh, future uh, activities of the company or the franchise. Uh, all right after we have the starting inventory uh, the, on the initial investment you can have a 70,000 uh, starting inventory which is for the shaker it's the food and the alcohol and there's the orders as expand expenditures for equipment plus and profits. Um, there's you have the uh, the loan that you're going to have for the equipment and improvements. Uh, you have the um, financial lease or owner owners allowances. And uh, let's see about to the estimated total, which is uh, all the addition of the initial 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 sorry investments, the SME loan. And the equipment will give us this total, uh, and with this total, they they, they had calculated you, um, they had calculated uh, the, um, the tax for that, and there is your final total uh, project costs, including taxes. Um, SME uh, is a pretty simple; it's small, medium enterprises. 
they are providing loans sometimes to you to, to help you uh, with your beginning uh, uh, new company. So first, let's talk about the strengths of this franchise. Their biggest strengths of the shakers is their uh, food quality, their product quality. So since the shaker is a fancy restaurant, they need to come with the quality that come with a fancy restaurant title. And that's what they are doing in the restaurants all over the Quebec province. They are offering a large variety of food uh, going from Tartar to Poutine and they are also offering a lot of cocktails going from homemade uh, beverage to uh, international uh, alcoholic beverage. Now let's talk about the W in the SWAT, which is the weakness. The main one that the shaker is facing right now is the one about their reputation in the food industry. Even though they have 11 restaurants in Quebec, uh, their, their brand is still kind of new. This said, it only means that they have a less bigger impact and that they will need to increase their number of, of restaurants in the province of Quebec or the uh, Canada to be able to have a better reputation. So it puts a, a hand to our presentation. And, um, well, how to describe a shaker is meal very expensive but very tasty. Exactly. Um, it's great meals. Yeah, very great ambience. Uh, we had this uh, uh, this beautiful uh, waitress is doing a very good job. And, yeah, and there's always like uh, uh, vibe music in the background, so it's always fun. It's not some annoying music, so it's uh, really uh, it's it's fun to go there. If you want to start a franchise, it's, it could really be. Uh, uh, interesting one to uh, choose. Yeah. So uh, yeah, thanks. Yes, thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for listening.